So the big focal points of computer science are actually just these two components, memory and the processor. You see, everything else, graphics cards, sound cards, all hard drives, all that stuff is just extra fluff uh, for doing our logic. You see, the processor, we like to consider this the brain. This allows us to do all of those uh, kind of complex logistical kind of approaches. So how does it all kind of come together? Well, the processor. The processor actually kind of breaks down into uh, two separate portions. The first portion is what we call control logic. What happens is, let's say I have a simple program. We'll just call it print. Hello. Print. Goodbye. Or bye. Bye will be faster. So, what happens? Well, the first thing that's going to happen when I execute my program is the control logic of the CPU is going to run into memory. And it's going to go, where's the start of this program? Let's say it's right here. All right, well, boom. It's going to grab step one. Well, step one happens to be this guy right here. Print hello. Now, it just doesn't magically do that. What happens is this memory is now going to be sent to what's known as the ALU, the arithmetic logic unit of the processor. And again, this is still part of the processor. This is actually where all of that logic and uh, analysis and doing of things is actually going to happen. Now, print, it's a little more complex, but what it will do is it will display the information to the screen. Then it moves back up and says, I'm done. Well, maybe. In our case, print doesn't really do much. It just says, hello. But then it goes back to the control logic and says, all right, well, the next thing is go to step two. Step two, well, it happened to be right here. What was step two? Moves to it, takes that information right there, moves it to the ALU. ALU does its stuff, moves on. Let's say, for example, I added another step where I said x equals 5. We'll get into variables a little later, but now all of a sudden I want something stored for later use. I want this. Well, the same approaches are coming into play. I want that 5 right here in memory. The first thing that happens is I have to go and get step 3. Step 3. Step three is going to come in. It's going to go to the ALU. And you notice I've got a few of these magical commands over here. Ooh. Uh, but what's actually going on is they're just simpler terms about what the ALU is doing. And in fact, when I say move, for example, move the binary notation of five, uh, which, let's see, carry the two. That would be there, there, there. There we are. That's five. Uh, take that, put it right here. Then move to the next step. Since we're done, our program is complete.